You're watching News Channel 6 at 6. Keeping an eye on your family's health tonight. This is the time of year that can be challenging if you've got someone in your family being treated for cancer. Dr. Brian Ulrich from the Texas Oncology is here in the studio with us. He's got some advice for having a meaningful holiday season when you've got a lot on your mind and on your heart. Thank you for being here. Certainly. Dr. Ulrich, families have been gathering over the next, or will be gathering over the next couple weeks, I should say. Mm -hmm. And you'll be seeing some family members that you, maybe you haven't seen in a while and they've been diagnosed with cancer. How should you show your support when you see them over the holidays? What's the best way? Well, we always want to comfort and support them. And I think it's important to realize that uh, some of those uh, relatives may or may not feel comfortable right. openly discussing their cancer. And so we need to give them, give them room so they can you know, feel good about it. Uh, I think questions, how are you feeling? Uh, what can I do to make you comfortable? Uh, are, are very important. But I, I think also it's important we have well-meaning uh, information. Well, I heard about someone who has mm -hmm. your kind of cancer who mm -hmm. got this new treatment on the internet and they're doing well. That may be upsetting for that particular individual uh, there and also well, gosh, you sure have lost a lot of weight, and oh my goodness, your hair's falling out. You know, that, that may not be as supportive as we'd like. I would think so. Let's talk food for a second, because we all eat a lot during the holidays. Food sometimes can be upsetting um, mm -hmm. to cancer patients because they've, their taste or, or other things. What, what are some of the things we need to look out for it, there? It, exactly. Uh, taste becomes altered, but also sense of smell. Sure. Many, uh, many are very sensitive to that. And I think the most practical thing is uh, well, you know, what, you know, what foods uh, do you like and you can tolerate and others that you don't? But by and large, for the hol holidays, it's the good old comfort food. Turkey, mashed potatoes, green beans, that sort of thing. I love it. Dr. Ulrich, thank you. Nothing but the best. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. You bet. Ashley? 